Today I'm going to be going over the latest features in Crestron. This is a little open source project I've been working on for a few months now and <clears throat> it's come along pretty nicely. One of the problems that I had with the previous release was Xbox Media Center. The, uh, the, the biggest problem that I had with it is I wasn't able to change the channels on Pandora. So I'd have to, anytime I was outside, you know, working on the yard or whatever, and I wanted to change the channel to the music playing outside, I'd have to come all the way inside, change the channel, then go back outside. Yeah, that that didn't really work out too well for me. So what I did is I created a, uh, a JSON service, a JSON web service, you just pass a little JSON, that controls Pandora. And I built it on top of some existing open source software out there, uh, this just makes it easier to work with. It's it's the actual service versus I think the what I took it from was a uh, an application, really nice uh, WPF application. I can't remember the name, but uh, it was a really really good starting point. So now if you look at Pandora at the top, it used to say Xbox Media Center. Now we have a uh, Pandora. What you see right now is the current station playing, and if it's pauses playing, okay. So you can pause, you can skip the song, you can't thumb up, thumb down. Here's, you, know, you can scroll up and down the sky to put all the, the stations. Alright. Tap the station. And it'll start playing. It updated uh, the title you know it's playing so that was probably the the biggest change in last release I, there's a few things I've added I don't think current weather was on there it takes the current weather gives me the current temperature outside if it's clear overcast a description of the weather and the high and the low and uh, 99 degrees today was a high so it's probably heat index well into the hundreds that's Louisiana for you you know, also we have the thermometers, uh, sorry, thermostats for the, the main floor and the second floor. Then we have our scenes for home automation for saying things like turn off all the lights, turn on the night lights, and returning home sets all the lights on the outside. So if we're coming back from a, a trip or something, we can turn the, the lights on the outside. I'm going to turn that music down. Also, uh, this is new down here. I don't know if I'm not sure if lights was in the last uh, version. Uh, there's a few. There's a lot more lights in this that we have in the um, <coughs> in the system. But these are just a few I've decided to show on the screen. Actually, I have most of the lights in the house wired up through uh, Z-Wave. Now we have security cameras. Okay, so we have our server room, our main entrance, and our side entrance. Let's click on the server room. Let's see here. It's not a really good shot. Um, but these are just little little bit security cameras, not very much. I think false cam is the uh the company behind them. And uh, you see the network switches up top and two servers and you can't see any servers below that. But um this just allows me to uh, check out what's going on in the house. Um, right now, the the uh, web, uh, the the security cameras are not on the internet. They're only on the intranet. I'm probably going to keep that away. Uh, make sure it goes through SSL and has proper security. So, uh, but still, it's nice. If you, someone's at the door, you can say, "Hey," you know, click on it and see who's at the front door, who's at the side door. And those are pretty much all the new changes for this release. Uh, something I'm working on is uh, this little box right here. I'll probably create a video for it. This is going to be like a steampunk remote. So basically this is a, a wireless switch that connects to Z-Wave and it will, when I hit that uh, switch uh, specifically this switch. It'll turn off all the lights in the house, all the lights outside, and turn on the night lights in the hallway. Uh, my end goal is maybe set like a little uh, a little 
an old telephone receiver on top and then if you talk into it then they would you know record the message and play it over the intercom system or the the sound system throughout the entire house so you could pick it up and say time for dinner or you know whatever you wanted to say on the um, on the remote now this remote is freaking huge uh, and it's wired of course but uh, this is it's made out of hardwood oh my goodness and uh, I got the hood the the wooded lumber uh, lumber mill and you know cut it and it was rough lumber when I got it so this is still work in progress but uh, that's going to be one of my next projects I'm working on it actually does work so I guess right now that we're ending the video I'll go ahead and press this button and what it should do so you notice the house is pretty dark right now it should turn off all the lights in the kitchen and it will then turn on the night lights in the hallway uh, it'll usually take a few seconds to run and there it goes so it looks really dark on camera but it's a uh, it's a nice little it's a nice little feature and I sit that by my uh, bedside so I can turn off all the lights in the house when I go to bed just in case I accidentally left them on which I'm notoriously bad about especially upstairs so I'll leave the light on and and forget about it and not find out for a couple of days so anyway this is the latest version of Crestron and we'll see you guys later